This is Nick Nelson, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a really cool one for your side delts. Now, this solves the problem of gravity and the strength curve of the lateral delt raise. Now, normally when you're doing the side delt raise, you have very little resistance at the bottom, and you have the most resistance at the top. Now, this is the opposite of how basically the strength curve works. You're actually weakest at the top and strongest at the bottom. So it's basically completely flipped. Now, to get around that, there's a variety of things you can do. You can do a cable lateral raise where you have a good stretch at the bottom and you come across here. It helps, but it doesn't completely solve the issue. What I found here is kind of a cool way to solve the issue. Now, I've got a 25 pound kettlebell here. The size of this kettlebell, not really important because you're basically just using this as an anchor slash pivot point for the band. That's gonna be the main driver of this exercise. Now, these silver things on here are just some simple band handles. What I'm gonna do is uh, link to my review of these down below here so you can see what these are all about. Great piece of equipment, very versatile. You don't necessarily need them for this, but it's gonna help basically make the exercise more comfortable and allow you to focus on the side delts with this. So, band here, this is a simple small yellow band. Thread it right through the center of that handle. Handle is running basically perpendicular to your body. Now, <laughs> kneel down, lock that in. So we don't want this kettlebell to move. What we're gonna do here <clears throat> is use kind of like a TikTok method almost. Not like the app, but basically like a clock almost, or a metronome kind of thing. So what you wanna do here is hold this up like this. So you can see this is kind of the top of the lateral delt raise with the band. This is not the working side yet. We're gonna start working with this side. That's the short side, that's the stretch side. We're gonna use this to basically adjust the resistance on the fly as we're doing the exercise. So we're gonna start with a lot of band resistance and this is going to allow you to change the band resistance as you're doing the exercise. So here's what it looks like. <clears throat> like I said, kind of a weird concept, but it works really, really well. So start with your left, get that stretch. And as you hit that, you're gonna allow the band to stretch. Now you're in the position to start on the other side. Get that good stretch. And use your other hand to let up on the tension. And then repeat. Now the beauty of it is, you're holding this on the top, locked in, so you're actually getting more resistance as you're using it, the side delt, on this side to fight with the side delt on the other side. So almost, almost like a battering, battling lateral raise. And let up, really get a good squeeze at the top. And then get that resistance at the bottom. And then let up. So, that's what it looks like. Now, like I said, <clears throat> handles help, but literally all you really do need is the band and the kettlebell. So, I mean, if you didn't have the kettlebell, <clears throat> you could also use a bumper plate straight through the middle, regular barbell plate, anything that gives you that pivot point. Um, kneeling with a plate between your knees like this, it's gonna give you the same idea. So again, holding out here, get that stretch, and then pull it through. <sighs> Allowing that resistance to taper off as you come up. <sighs> so again, don't need the handles, but very, very helpful. What you need is the band and the means to basically create a pivot point down near the floor. So you can use that TikTok kind of method to control the movement, control the tension, and actually nail the strength curve of the lateral raise.